I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question for my student Anna and I hope solution of this will help many other students. The question is based on vertical motion kinematics where the acceleration due to gravity which is constant acceleration is taken into consideration. A stone falls from the top of a building it takes 0 0.25 seconds to go past a two meter tall window. From what height above the top of the window did the stone fall? So let's consider that, let's say that's the building, right? Okay. So where the window is somewhere, let's, let's locate the window somewhere. Let's say this is the window. Now the height is given to us as 2 of the window. I will use uh, 2.0, the typing error. We need to also consider the significant digits, right? So we'll write 2.0 meters. It's kind of important to understand why I made it 2.0. And what do we need to find? We need to find the height above the window. So we need to find this height height above the window. What we are given is the time which it takes to fall during this distance which is 0 0.25 seconds right so that is change in time let's say delta t. Now to solve such questions what we can do is we can define uh, the values at different places. Uh, to begin with, we can use the the equation, which is y equals to. Uh, let's say let's say the velocity here at the top is let's say v1. Okay, we'll call the velocity at this point as v2, and velocity at this point as v3. Okay, so these are the three velocities. Since it is going downwards, they will be negative. Distance going downwards will also be considered negative. Right, so in this case, what we have is delta t equals to 0 0.25 seconds when it falls through this distance. Right, so uh, what we can do is we can find initial velocity at this time using uh, the height given to us. So height y is 2.0 meters. We'll treat this as negative since it is falling. And the formula which you can use is um, velocity at this point which is v2t plus half at square. You could have written delta t, the time difference. Now, acceleration is 9.8, so a is 9.8 meters per second square, which will also take negative since it is also going downwards. So we know all the values. We need we can find velocity at the top of our window from this formula. Okay. Um, so if I substitute these values, we could rearrange. So we get velocity as equal to y minus half of a t square, velocity times t, or velocity v2 equals to 1 over t times y minus half a t square, correct? Now you can substitute the values to calculate the answer. T for us 0 0.25, so we'll have 1 over 0 0.25. Y value is minus 2.0 minus half of A is minus 9.8 and T is 0 0.25 square. So let's calculate. 
So this minus minus becomes positive. So I'll start from here. So we have 0.25 square times 9.8 divided by 2, which is equal to in decimals 0 0.306. We'll take away 2 from here, minus 2. And then we are going to divide by 0 0.25. In decimals, it is equal to minus 6.775. So that is the velocity at this point, V2, correct? So we get one value, velocity. We are not rounding it meters per second. We need to find the height above the top of the window, right? So when you when the stone is falling, V1 is, is 0. So we know that V1 is 0. V2 is minus 6.775. And the height is h, right? So we could write the difference of these velocity squares is twice a times the height. Correct? So from here we can find the height. So height is equal to v2 square minus v1 square divided by twice a which is 9.8, correct? So let's substitute the values. v2 is minus 6.775 whole square minus 0 square over 2 times minus 9.8. So that gives you the height, correct? So 6.775 square divided by, within brackets, 2 times 9.8 is equal to 2.3418 meters. Correct? So we get the height above the window as 2.348, 3418. Now, since we are looking into two significant places, so we can say height above, the window is 2.3 meters. So we'll round it to one decimal place, correct? So that's what we get. So height of the window is 2.3 meters. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. One change which I definitely made was writing this as 2.0, right? Uh, just because uh, that helped me to give me two decimal places. If the question has two, the answer will be two meters. Is that okay? So you have to be careful when you write the answer. It should be to the um, to the correct significant places. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.